on YouTube. This is Travis from Chasing Anthems. Coming at you guys with another reaction video. Found this, uh, this came up on the old YouTube feed. It said, best solo of Chuck Schuldiner. Schuldiner? Schillinder? No, 100% sure if I'm saying that right. But when I was reading the description, it said he was the godfather of death metal. Um, and then unfortunately passed away, I think in 2001 from a brain tumor. Um, but this was the best of his solos. I believe the band name he was in was called Death, formed in 1983. Um, but I don't know much more than that. I'm, I'm not a huge death metal guy, so I don't know a lot about them. But I'm always curious to explore uh, new bands, new styles. Do you know what were those those folks that were on the top of the game that can be drawn from inspiration? So, with that being said, that's what we're going to check out today. If you are a fan, you know more. Please contribute in the comments. Let us know uh, what we need to know about this artist and others in this lane, so we continue to go down this rabbit hole on this YouTube adventure together. With that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. You know what to do: subscribe, hit the bell to be notified of future videos, like, comment, share. You go check out original stuff. Links in the description box below, and uh, let's roll the video. Let's go. Like I said, that last one sounded really familiar. I Maybe I do to these guys. Dude's got some monster fingers. You see how long that reach was and, and, and the speed on that? Um, pretty, pretty phenomenal. Great squeals. Some audio on this one. Let's skip around here. It sounds like he's using an octafuzz. That that's probably one of his uh, the main arsenals in his pedal board setup. But I don't know. Let me know what what are those pedals that are creating that sound. I think it's got a really a nice tone to it. Um, he he's definitely got his own style that you can hear from solo to solo which is unique and it's eerily not eerily but strangely sounds familiar i don't i'm not 100 percent sure why or where i would have heard this <clears throat> this was definitely before my time period but um yeah definitely i'm, I'm enjoying it for sure <laughs>
Yeah, Chuck, I you know the one thing that's nice about listening to a compilation like this is you get to hear a wide array of um uh, artwork or piece examples of music instead of just, you know, hearing one slice of it. I know I kind of get that um I get those comments, right? Like you didn't pick the right song. And so getting to hear a series of them uh, in a row definitely is beneficial. But I, I can hear where he was an influential guitarist. Now, I don't I don't know on what rank or what artist maybe um, would say, you know, hey, Chuck was my guy, right? I'm sure you guys know who those people are uh, since it sounds like he's been a pretty powerful influence in this subgenre of metal. Um, but I can hear where other guitarists would definitely have used his work as influence theirs so you guys let me know in the comments but uh i I enjoy it right i don't know a lot about it but i definitely enjoy it so uh let me know in the comments also too is where would i have heard this where would i have heard some of these songs other than um i'm assuming they were not on mtv uh the band death uh doesn't ring a bell to me um but maybe there's some other references that i might be aware of but anyways with that being said uh if you guys enjoyed chuck and uh the band death you just let me know in the comments send me links give me recommendations give me suggestions so i can go down the rabbit hole and continue to learn more from you guys hey with that being said thank you guys so much for tuning in and uh, we'll check out some new music uh on the next one see you guys later